Hi, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your love and support. I truly do appreciate you. I was going to say each and every one of you, but yeah, I don't know why I stopped myself, but anyway, I do. <laughs> and uh, welcome to those of you guys that are new. This is the daily telepathy for those of you guys that identify with Twin Flame Connection. It's general, so that means it's not going to resonate um, every time, okay? So keep that in mind. If you're interested in booking a personal reading, uh, that information will be low, uh, will be below, as well as um, all of the decks I'm using here today and the items that you see. Um, also, if you want to get additional messages from my other uh, social media accounts, all that stuff is going to be uh, listed below. So if you're new, uh, take a look below the video, either during, after, doesn't matter. <laughs> Just whenever you want to look at, find out the information, okay? And only my official sites are listed below. Anything else you find out there is not um, real, so please don't, you know, respond to them or subscribe or give people your money if they're, you know, trying to solicit money because I, I don't ask people for money or readings through messages or anything like that. Everything that comes comes from my site. Um, or my Etsy shop, uh, my platforms, okay? All right, so I'm gonna start by getting the energy surrounding this reading, and then I'm gonna clarify. There will be an extended, so if you'd like to join the extended, the link to the extended will be below. So the first part, we're gonna see what's going on in the present, what's influencing the present, the past, and then um, the masculine thoughts, and then the immediate future of the situation. Okay, and then in the extended part, we'll see what happened in the recent past um, and um, the masculine's fears, how other people may be influencing the situation, the masculine's hopes and the outcome. Okay, so this is the Moonology Oracle. So this is the energy surrounding this reading. Work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. Okay, so we just had a new moon in Cancer, uh, which is still, um, I'm sure, in the energy right now. But it is still water energy. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Scorpio, uh, going through um, uh, a transformation of some type uh, right now. But there could be some connection here with a new beginning. So there could be a new beginning in this connection where you guys are starting to work through your fears. Um, either the both of you or one or the other, okay, regarding um, this connection. But this is, our, or this is what Spirit is advising um, you guys to do at this time, okay? So let's go ahead and just put these right here. Now you can't see all the cards, but whatever. <laughs> we'll just leave it there. We, we know what it says. Okay, all right. So the present situation. We have here searching, online looking for info, records, waves, emotions coming and going, Archangel Michael, protection, prevent it from harm, um, divine intervention. Okay, so in the present situation, you guys may be getting a lot of emotions uh, going back and forth with this connection here that um, there may be a, a divine intervention in this situation. Um, and it could be also preventing you or the both of you guys from finding out what's going on with the other, okay? Because I feel like the both of you guys are trying to figure out, are are these emotions going to, um, you know, come through? Am I receiving these messages? Um, but the divine could be here pro protecting you guys um, from finding out what's going on. It could be because maybe they want to surprise you or maybe somebody is too much in their emotion, you know, it could be anything like that. So let's go ahead and, and see what this has to do with. This is, um, I don't know if I said that, but this is my uh, Situations Oracle. And this is the uh, Crystal Visions uh, Tarot. So let's get three cards here. So we have the Tower, the Star, and Judgment. Okay, this is major. This is three major arcanas <laughs> right off the bat. So... This talks about, you know, tearing down things that no longer serve you, but it also could be something that comes unexpected, you know, in the situation. And the star is about healing and hope and judgment. So the divine is definitely here involved in the situation. Okay. You've got Mark Angel Michael here preventing uh, from harm. Um, 
protecting his uh, connection. And then we have judgment here that is um, here um, also as a part of the divine universe, how we see judgment. But this talks about reviewing the past. This is healing. So there could be a situation where maybe somebody is starting to wake up to this connection. They're, after reviewing a past uh, tower moment between the two of you guys, maybe this person is starting to heal. Okay. And there could be um, a wish about to come true in this connection, or you guys are uh, causing or calling judgment on this connection as well, you know, to get past whatever took place between the um, two of you guys. Okay. So let's see what this tower is. This is the Sabila Oracle in the present situation. What is the tower? Okay, yeah. So there's an important revelation going on here in this connection. Um, let me see who may be having this important rev uh, revelation. And also the number 39 could be significant. It's also 12. What is this important revelation? Who is having this important revelation? Three of Pentacles. Hmm. All right. So this could be both of you guys. All right. Or there's an important revelation about wanting to put the effort in because this is teamwork. Um, this is also like my coworker, employee type of uh, energy. So there could be a, a important revolution about really needing to work together or come together uh, to make things work. Okay. There could have been an important thing that happened in a workplace too. Um, maybe from something, maybe somebody was searching, uh, looking for employment online or something like that. And something happened that also could have took place, but this, somebody is having an important revelation about either a co coworker or needing to put into effort into a certain situation. Okay. Of uh, maybe the unexpected that that took place okay all right so let's go ahead and see what is influencing um the present all right so what's influencing the present we have single either one of you or both of you are single maybe you're trying to check on the current status of the other person if they're available but you may be cut off somebody might have blocked the other okay or ghosted the other other and feeling lost in this situation and we have this love affair a dirty little secret down low okay so some of you guys was influenced in the present is you're no longer available to this person that is just wanting to keep you as a secret or the down low or was involved in some type of you know love affair or some type of situation so this is what's influencing um the present is someone's status and not um uh possibly ghosting the other or just cutting off being available for somebody that just wants to be single okay so let me just ask why the lost cars here why does someone ghost or block or cut off someone okay <laughs> i feel like this could be the feminine okay there what we have here there's a masculine here and there's a feminine right here like offering something and number 27 could be significant it's also a nine which is that single energy um i feel like somebody cut the other person off because they felt the other person was too weak okay so i feel like this was a feminine so you guys may have made a judgment call to try to heal from the either the person um you know, that maybe did something that was very unexpected or has some type of false belief, um, you know, just trying and not wanting, you know, refusing to see, um, you know, things for what they were. But somebody cut the other person off because they felt that they were weak, okay? Like they didn't have enough courage to um, handle this uh, situation, okay? That's what I'm getting. And then um, what happened in the past? We have denial, not facing the truth, irrational reasoning, anxiety, scare, panic, twin flames, the one mirror soul's pledge. Okay, so twin flame is coming in here as a confirmation um, for me and a lot of you guys that are resonating with this. 
So what happened in the past, somebody was in denial, okay? They were facing the truth. They were wanting to be in that energy with, you know, the blinders on, okay? I see the two things with someone's, you know, eyes covered up here. And they were uh, being rational. So they were like wanting either the person to understand something that didn't make any sense or they didn't um, acknowledge the connection due to the fact that they were too much, having too much anxiety and um, being scared and panicked and wrapped up and trapped and tied up and other people and things worried about too much stuff online here. See, there's a phone here. So I do feel like there was something on the phone here that somebody was worried about online coming out online, either, you know, confessing, acknowledging about this uh, twin flame connection. Okay. Um, so we have the one mirror souls pledged. And maybe this person was having anxiety that this person was either the one for them or it could even have to do with a, something that was pledged, maybe even a contract, okay? And they didn't want to acknowledge it. But a lot of you guys, it could have been you decided that this person was in denial and you just felt like um, you didn't want to deal with this anymore, okay? But this is what took place in the past, okay? So let's see why this person was not facing the truth. Why was this person in denial? Okay, so we have infantilism. So this has to do with a child, okay? So this person either was not facing the truth due to a child, possibly uh, um, a girl, child, uh, a female, um, not for all of you, but this is what's presented itself here. Uh, number eight could be significant or somebody was in denial because they were, there's a level of immaturity here. Okay. And that's why they were in, um, denial. So let's see why were they scared and panicked here? Why were they scared and panicked with this anxiety? Yep. They were just scared. That's it. Fright. Number 21 and three, they just were completely scared in a panic, um, afraid for whatever reason. Maybe the connection was just too strong, too intense for them, but that they basically was just too afraid, okay? Uh, too afraid here in this connection. So fear is real, really um, heavy uh, in this connection. <clears throat> Let me just take a quick sip uh, really fast. Okay, all right. So let's go ahead and see what the masculine's thoughts are in this situation. So we have crush, sad, broken, feeling alone, financial support, child, alimony, government, roller coaster, highest high adrenaline rush. So the masculine's thoughts for a lot of them has to do with money, okay? Because we have this broken here and then we have the financial support. So there was definitely some money situation here. They may be sad because they lost money. Um, and in addition to the, the sad, they could be feeling alone, left out of the loop in the uh, material world. Because this is something that possibly gives them that, that high, that adrenaline rush. Okay, and then maybe they haven't been getting their, their money flowing right, and they really crushed over the fact that their financial situation, um, uh, you know, is you know messed up or in some type of not the best state. Okay, um, so I've, a lot of them I feel like they are their financial issues is causing them a lot of strain right now. And then for others with this roller coaster high is high adrenaline rush is that twin flame energy. they they could be sad, feeling alone, maybe because they weren't able to support this connection due to either their ties to a child. Definitely there's a child uh, for this one that's coming through here. Uh, maybe they have to pay alimony, a government, or they're sad that their financial situation um, is causing them to be more focused on that. And so they can't really um, put their energy efforts into what they really would like to do, which is this 
you know, this, this high of this connection. Also, I'm getting for some of them, their child was um, sad uh, recently for whatever reason. I don't know uh, what it had to do but, uh, with, but that's what I'm getting. So let's go ahead and see what is at the root of their sadness here of why they feel crushed in their thoughts. The trip to the country. All right, so they're sad that either, they could be sad that either, um, because <clears throat> the trip to the country is me like kind of going out somewhere. Maybe this is, okay, because there's a feminine here on the horse. So they could be sad that either you are distant from them, you're out in the country somewhere distant from them, or they um, are sad that they can't come to visit to you come to visit you because of their in some form of denial, okay? Or maybe you denied them from coming to visit them, uh, visit you because they won't, they won't like um, acknowledge this connection. They want to keep things secret and just not express emotions to you, you know, being very protective. 33, that could be significant as well as also number six. <clears throat> and so let's go ahead and now see um, what is the immediate future of this situation. It's the immediate future of this situation. So we have love, adore, admire, enchantment, racing, running, avoiding, alien, telepathic, dream song. So the future of this situation is that you may be getting vibes from them that you're running, um, that they're running and avoiding you. But since the telepathic energy is here, I feel like the both of you are getting uh, vibes that um, one or the other is running. So you may feel that they're running from you. They feel that you're running from them, but you guys are both being connected here. So this could be triggering in some type of way. You might be getting stuff through songs. Maybe you're going to get songs that talk about this running and avoiding. I've been avoiding my emotions, avoiding this love um, uh, type of energy. Um, so let's go ahead and get some cards to go along with those here. Okay. Page of Pentacles. So page of pinnacles, pages are either children or immature or talks about some type of news or event, okay? So there could be some news here that you may receive, um, or like I said, there's a child here involved, um, but we have five of cups. So I do feel like there's going to be some sadness or disappointment. I feel like there might be somebody that takes step towards their sadness or disappointment. So there could be an offer here. Um, but it may not come right away because the five of pinnacles here is um, a hardship, but it's temporary. Okay. So with the page uh, energy here, this could be uh, for some of you guys to this masculine could still be going through a financial hardship, could be disappointed over it or disappointed in a small offer. Okay. Um, some of you guys um, could be taking a step towards this um um, hardship um, or feeling that that's what's taking place because with this five of cups and this I feel like this was um, associated with this avoiding so I do feel like um, some of you guys could be trying to avoid being sad or disappointed in the situation taking a step here um, to either get away and possibly endure a hardship with this connection or you are getting some type of um, energy telepathically that this person is about to make some type of offer towards you because it talks about manifesting so they may be learning to take a step either to possibly uh, apologize um uh, towards you but i do feel like whatever it is that's taking place is still going to be some type of temporary hardship here and you're going to be connected to this that this person is um going through either a financial hardship or trying to manifest up enough courage to um, go towards the sadness and this disappointment because they're receiving it telepathically that you are trying to avoid 
any type of connection um, towards this person. So let's go ahead and see what is this sadness that is trying to be avoided or disappointment. Okay, see a lot of money. So a lot of you guys are focused on money. So you you or this is the masculine that the disapp they're disappointed in their money situation. Maybe they've lost a lot of money or expecting a lot of money, but they're trying to avoid losing a lot of money or being disappointed in a loss of a lot of money. And then uh, for others of you, this is about a lot of value, okay? Something that they com uh, completely value a lot and they're trying to avoid a loss of that value that they have um, towards you. So there, there could be manifesting taking... Uh, an offer taking some type of step towards you but for a lot of you i'm seeing a lot of money energy so this could be just a focus and emphasis is fears around money because the energy coming in here is about working through your fear so the fears could be more mere materialistic more so than the the emotions right now even though the love is there it just feels like it may be more um of where that's where the energy is right now okay so this is my twin flame messages. I don't know if I said this, but this is the Crystal Visions Tarot, and this is the Sabila Oracle. So let's go ahead and get three messages from the masculine, and then I'm going to take it over to the extended. Again, if you want to join the extended, the link is below. And if you're interested in any of these decks or the, any of the items I uh, have here, um, all that information um, will be listed below the video description, okay? So you may have to click the more twice. I don't know if I said that. I don't know how to approach you. And it, the reason why they may not know how to approach you is because they denied this love in the past. They denied the emotions. They were very protective towards this a connection. And as a result, you may have made a judgment call. So now they're not sure of how to um, approach you. In the extended, I'll clarify this um, also. I miss you much, okay? They really, really are missing you. That's the sadness. That's the disappointment, feeling the hardship, and thinking about making that step uh, towards you, okay? See? Because I just can't stop loving you. I miss you. I keep trying to not miss you, but whatever reason, I'm missing you. I'm loving you. I'm sad. I'm disappointed here. I'm crushed. Okay, I'm really crushed. And now I'm having anxiety over the fact that I may be losing you from whatever I did in the past, which they know what they've done. They deny the connection. They deny the emotions um, to go back and forth. They were very protective. The divine stepped in. So the divine could be stepping in here to show this masculine that this connection is uh, being lost here or about to be lost for some of you could be already lost or you feel it is um, and they need to step in and do something if they don't want to, this connection to be lost okay or really be crushed um, and disappointed in this connection okay so please hit the like button if you haven't done it already if you have thank you so much I appreciate it if you're new subscribe hit the notification bell to get my latest videos I do lives as well so you want to make sure you are uh, got that notification bell uh, enabled there to get them okay so thank you guys so much I appreciate each and every one of you as always so you guys have a wonderful day or night whatever it is where we are so next time next video peace love and light